So I bought two of these faux vine leaf things from Hobby Lobby. Um, they were on sale. I think I ended up paying maybe $7 a piece. And then I just cut each So all the stems are cut like this, so it's no longer one big bunch. And then you just need some twine or some string and some scissors. So you're going to get a length of string as long as you want uh, the backdrop to be or as long as you want the garland to be. Um, and this, you can tell I've already started doing it, so I'm kind of like halfway through. And so you'll just simply tie a knot into the string and then move that knot on down to where you want the branch to be. Okay, so here's my knot. I've kind of moved it down about a couple inches apart, so all my branches are a couple inches apart. And then you'll just stick the stem right into the middle of the knot and then tighten the knot really, really tight. So this is kind of what it looks like once you do all of the branches. Um, so right now I've kind of put mine at varying widths apart. Um, because I'm going to be putting the paper flowers in between them and um, but you can always so this only takes just a few minutes to do the whole uh, strand so it's really easy to undo and redo if you want to you know switch positions which I might do that as well and one tip I have is when you're putting the branch on so most branches uh, at the ends of the flowers will kind of have this little bulb thicker circular spot so you want to tie the knot underneath that that way um, it doesn't fall or slip off it stays put that way so I forgot I was going to show you guys how to do this backdrop that I'm doing um, so I have used this before it's called a heat and bond um, and it basically bonds or kind of sews two fabrics together without having to sew. So you put your iron on like a medium setting and then you turn your fabric over to the back side and you run the tape um, all the way along the area that you want to bond together um, and you put it on um, the fabric side. And you basically press your iron down once it's warm for about two seconds um, and then that kind of bonds the back side of the tape onto the fabric. So you can see it's bonded here, that adhesive. So once tip. it's all ironed and then cooled off, then you peel off this strip here um, all the way down. And then you're going to lay the piece of fabric that you want to bond on top of this piece. So then, then you just iron uh, the two pieces together. Um, so this is the second piece of fabric over top of that first strip um, and you can see the strip underneath if I pull up So a here bit. is the finished product. You can see kind of where the two fabrics are melded together there um, but it still looks pretty nice. And then tomorrow I'll hang the vines and the flowers on it but today has been